Such a baby, man. Among dog owners, it's sure to become a controversial topic. Should the government be able to force pit bull owners to spay or neuter their pets? <laughs> It's something the Riverside County Board of Supervisors is thinking about doing, especially after a number of high-profile attacks. The latest one last month in San Jacinto when this pit bull mauled a 76-year-old woman. The sentiment behind this from our leaders at the county level, uh, they're frustrated that too many people are getting hurt seriously, some almost near death, and uh, they're frustrated. Animal Services spokesperson John Wells says when pets are fixed, or altered as he calls it, they tend to be less of a problem. We do have a philosophy that an altered dog, regardless of breed, tends to want to roam less, and when a dog is roaming less, it's going to get into less trouble, i.e. biting kids or senior citizens. <laughs> Outside the Rubido Animal Hospital, there are opinions on both sides, from people who are in favor of forcing pit bull owners to have their pets fixed. I just like that idea of the spay, spaying and neutering. People who say it'll make them feel more safe. That way it's a little more controlled and they're more contained and, you know, less violence out there. But others say it should be up to the pet owner. I think it would be better if uh, the owner is under the under owner consideration to, to take that decision. Yes, some people say this is another case of lawmakers going too far. Government tends to step into too many people's lives too much and in its own way by doing that they're hurting other individuals like breeders like myself.